So I'm going to tell you guys how to design a project in CricCut Design Space using PixArt. So first you need to download the PixArt app and then you need to scroll down, well click the plus sign and then scroll down all the way to the bottom and click color black grounds and click that first block one that gives you a PNG image. So then you're going to design what you want and the words that I chose to design were expensive. So I typed in expensive and then I picked the font that I liked. You can add your own fonts and if you need a, a tutorial on that, please comment that down below and I will do a tutorial on, to, on how to add your own fonts for PixArt. But you can see here, I'm just playing with different fonts to see which one I like. I mean, on PixArt, they have a few to choose from. It's not that many but it's something and then once you get it to where you like it you can kind of resize it and get it um into a place that you like it a location a height you could change the height you can change the length you can zoom in and zoom out you can move it around you can do different things to it and then once it's set because just make sure that you um, make sure that you like it before you click apply because you can't go back and edit it or anything. So once I got it to how I like it, I'm going to click that button apply and then I'm going to save it and it's going to say download photo and then you're going to save it. Once you, you've saved it, you go to your Cricut Design app and you get this app once you buy one of their machines. And you click new project and then you click um, upload and then you click your photo album and then because it's a PNG the background is going to be white so there you can see there it is you give it a title give it a name and the next time you go to create a project and Cric Cricut crew cut whatever you want to call it it's going to be there with the title that you gave it and here you can see all the other designs that I created using the same method, PixArt, and the upload from CricCut. So here you can see that now I've launched, I switched over to my MacBook so that you guys can get a better image. And I launched my CricCut app and now I'm going to click the upload and then I'm going to choose the file, one, well one of the uploaded images that I just created. And you can see that I designed two types of expensive um, different fonts one thicker and one thinner I picked one and now I'm going to kind of resize it the way that I want it to be because remember that it is going to cut the exact same way that you arrange it on here so just remember that when you are moving it around and designing it so now i got it to a place that i like it and i'm going to click that button the green button at the top and it says make it and it is going to um give you options so because i'm doing a heat transfer vinyl i'm going to mirror it and then it's going to say make sure that you look for your machine I'm going to set my computer to the side and pull my Cricut up. And in order to use to cut on this, you need vinyl paper and the grip mat. So those are the things that I'm going to get right now. And I'm going to take my grip mat and I'm going to take my piece of um, white vinyl paper. That's the color that I want my cut to be. And I'm going to align it on there just as neat as I can get it just for the sake of the blade because the blade is very 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 precise so you're going to lay that on there and then you're going to follow the directions prompted on the Cricut design space <laughs>
So here you can see me taking out the letters and I'm using my weeding tool to help me do so because sometimes in certain areas when there can be a little bit more of a precise cut, the Cricut can have a little bit um, of the vinyl and where you want it to be cut still connected. So you would just use that weeding tool to help you tear out those letters and make sure to be gentle because the first time I did my project, I definitely ripped it up. It was ugly. It was a mess because I was being so rough. So just make sure that you are only pulling what you want out. And yeah, be really careful and pay attention. So once that I've torn out all the letters, which you can see them on the grip mat, you can see that I have the stencil. You can either airbrush with the stencil or print the stencil. You can use the print. You can print with the letters. You can print with both. Now, I personally use both. I use the stencil and I use and the negative space that's in the inside is covered with the fabric that I'm printing on. So all you have is the outline of, of expensive or the outline of the words that you cut. Or you can use the individual words and actually have those cutout letters in there. But that is it for today's video. I hope that you guys enjoyed. Please be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share this video. And I'll see you guys later. Bye!